Hey everyone, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Right now in the desert, it's so hot, it's like above 100 degrees, so it does not feel like fall just yet. But I'm already starting to prep for autumn. I'm so excited for the temperatures to cool down over here. Finding Uggs during fall is impossible because they sell out so quickly. Last year I didn't get any Uggs because they sold out so quickly. I purchased my Uggs in August, so I'm so excited for this video. I'm gonna be comparing the Ugg Ultra Minis and the Ugg Ultra Mini platforms. a quick side by side they're both so cute so this is the ultra mini style in chestnut you can see it has the creamy wool inside and in this beautiful chestnut color i'm gonna speak about the pros for the ultra mini Obviously, they're so cute and I feel like it's a modern take on the nostalgic Ugg boot that I remember that was popular. It's a lot more effortless and cozy and cute. I love the color chestnut, another nostalgic classic color of Ugg. You cannot go wrong. I mean, the combination of like that creamy wool with the chestnut exterior is so pretty. Antelope is a darker version of this chestnut color and it's so beautiful. You can only get it on the Ugg website actually. I didn't know about antelope until after I bought these chestnut pears. So I'm thinking of maybe in the future purchasing the antelope ultra minis because they are so cute. I love the color and it is the only style of shoe in that antelope color and you can only get it at Ugg.com. Um, but last I checked it was back ordered until like October. Right now it's a maybe for me. And another color that I love actually in the ultra minis is mustard seed. So pretty. It's like a beige color. I couldn't get my hands on that one either that one was sold out as well everywhere I checked so now a con of this style is that it can be a little challenging to slip on it's not as easy as other styles of Uggs this little loop right here is helpful when you're putting your shoe on so that is really nice to have moderate difficulty in terms of like putting on this shoe. Um, but overall, it's still so cute. It's so comfortable. I can see myself going to Pilates class. I can see myself going on coffee runs, grabbing lunch, running errands, doing light shopping, grocery shopping, um, wearing athleisure, Pilates outfits, loungy outfits. Um, that's kind of like how I see me styling ultra minis next are the ultra mini platforms in the chestnut color immediate pro is that these are trendy af i'm sure you see them everywhere over on instagram tiktok youtube and honestly it gets like 50 50 feedback in terms of if people love the platform or if they love the ultra mini i am one of those people that love both <laughs> and I love the platform on these. I think it's so cute. It makes it feel a little bit more dressed up than the Ultra Minis. I also love feeling a little bit taller with this two inch platform. Another style in chestnut, so pretty. This also comes in mustard seed, their new beigey color. I really wanted these in mustard seed actually, but they were sold out, so I settled for chestnut. Again, I was thankful that I even found these. They're very trendy, they're very cute, and honestly, I heard mixed reviews on how people walked in them. I am totally fine walking in these. Obviously the ultra minis are a lot cozier kind of like slipper like because they're closer to the ground these have a little bit more height to them and for some that can really make a huge difference but for me it really didn't make a huge difference um, in terms of walking and comfort I think they're very comfortable I'm so excited to wear these this fall I feel like I can dress up these platforms more than I can the ultra minis without the platform I think the platform really gives it like a little bit more of an elevated cool kind of boot casual boot look I see myself styling these with denim and sweaters this season whereas with the ultra minis I see more like athleisure Pilates outfit sets that sort of thing don't get me wrong these would be really cute for Pilates too I personally think these would be really cute like going to the pumpkin patch maybe or doing like fun fall basic girl things 
Yep, super cute. The cons of the Ultra Mini platforms. Obviously, the platform can be a con for some. If you're clumsy, then this might be a con for you. For me, I think I'm perfectly fine walking in these. Like, I'm not going out of my way to walk more carefully. It's nothing like wearing heels. If you like this style, trust me, it's still comfortable and easy to walk in. Another con is that these are actually a little bit more challenging to put on than the Ultra Minis. The loop here does help a little bit. Another con about the Ultra Mini platforms is that they're not as comfortable as the Ultra Minis. The Ultra Minis feel like how slippers, they're as comfortable as you're gonna get as to like walking on a cloud. These just have a platform, so it's just a little bit different of a walk, of a feel. Between the two, I think the non-platform version is more comfortable for obvious reasons. And the last con to the Ultra Mini platforms is that it does not come in antelope, my favorite color. So hopefully Ugg creates antelope in these for next year. I'm so curious what you guys think of these two styles. Let me know in the comments. Do you prefer the Ultra Minis or the Ultra Mini platforms? What are your favorite colors? Let me know down in the comments. So if a little puppy pops into this video, I am so sorry. I apologize. She just absolutely loves the camera. So she's just chilling here with me, actually, to lose my dog. Um, she just loves hanging out. Are you helping mom? Are you helping mommy? Good girl. You look like an Ugg. These are the two styles. This here is the Tasman. And this is the Taz. Both are so cute. It's really hard to pick. These are the Tasman in chestnut. To me, this is the classic Ugg style. This color combination, this style. I just think of Ugg slipper and this comes to mind. This is honestly my new house slipper for the season. These are very easy to slip on and off with or without socks. So if you're looking for that experience, that ease, I definitely recommend over the Ultra Minis. But if you want something super easy and cozy, then definitely check out these Tasmans. Another feature that I love that I think is a pro is actually this detailing in the stitching. I love the neutrals. I think it's so pretty. It adds such a cute detail. And when you wear like pants or leggings, I love just like this peekaboo moment of the stitching. It adds such a fun little detail to your outfit. I already started wearing these at home. I couldn't resist, even though it's like a hundred degrees outside. Our house is AC'd, so I'm able to like feel cozy inside my house. And I just couldn't help myself. I needed to start wearing my Uggs already. There really is no cons. The only con is I won't be wearing these outside. These definitely look and feel and wear like slippers. Now, if you're wearing loungewear at home, athleisure at home, that's a whole different story, but would not recommend wearing these outside. Next style is something you probably have seen everywhere on social. These are the Taz Style Uggs in the color chestnut. All right, let's start with the pros. This platform really gives a more elevated, casual look that I feel that I could wear these out with cute outfits, styled with like sweaters, denim, athleisure, workout outfits, Pilates outfit sets, even like cute sweatpants moments. I can imagine myself wearing these to Pilates class because when I go to Pilates, I usually wear slides anyway with grip socks. So I wear socks and sandals. I think they're gonna be super cute when I go to the Pilates studio, light errands, coffee runs, grocery shopping, farmer's markets. This is definitely a more loungy, casual, shoe for fall. It's kind of like a clog style. Some people like that, some people don't. I think it's kind of cute for fall season, so it works. And the chestnut color is obviously gorgeous. If you're looking for something that you can wear and feel cute, and you can style with outfits, I would recommend a Taz. I feel like if you're 5'3 like me, then you'd really, really appreciate the platform. Now, con. Some people have mentioned if they're clumsy, they're worried they might twist their ankle. Another con for the Taz is the styling. Some people don't like the clog style and they don't like the platform to each their own. For me though, the biggest con is actually the red detailing. I don't like it. I don't like red at all. As you know, I am a neutral girly, so this red is just throwing me off. I don't know. So for me, that's like a big con. If you're a neutral girly, that might 
bother you. I know it for sure bothers me. My favorite color in the Taz was actually mustard seed, but I had to settle for chestnut since it was the very last pair. And I just wanted to see if I even liked the style of the shoe. But overall, I did. While we're on the topic of Ugg Tasmans, I actually have two to show you in two different colors. And this is sand. These are both so cute. I stocked up on two. And honestly, this is my favorite color here. I really, really like these. I am just like a neutral beigey girl. And I felt like these look so cute. But it was honestly really hard to pick which one I loved more. Next, I'm gonna compare the two platform Tazes. This one is the Ugg Braid. This is the Ugg Taz. They both are platforms and very, look very similar, but also at the same time look very different. We already talked about these guys, so I won't go into depth about these. But I'll show you side by side what they look like so you have an idea. Which one do you guys like more? This one or this one? So let's start off with the Ugg braids. These come in three different colors. They come in black, brown, and this natural color. When I first unboxed these, I was thrown off because I don't know if it was just like the undertone and lighting of my home, but it came off like yellow. I don't know if it's coming off as like a buttery yellow on camera, but when I received them, it was way more buttery yellow than I was expecting. I was definitely expecting more of like a whiter color, but I thought about it and came to the realization that okay it's wool it's a natural fiber i'm sure like colors vary but then when i put them in the sunlight they didn't look as yellow buttery yellow <laughs> it's a nice way of putting it and they've grown on me so just keep that in mind returning these and exchanging them for a different pair that was maybe not so yellow but then i figured okay they're probably going to be the same color um i started looking at tiktoks of people unboxing theirs and i saw a lot of other people had the same color tone so i was just like hey it's not worth exchanging for if it's gonna be the same color but i ended up keeping them and i actually really really like them i'm so excited to wear these like they're definitely unique I went all out and I decided to go for a statement Ugg. I think they're so cute. They're so cozy and so soft. They also have the platform. Another pro is that it's very easy to slip on and off with or without socks. Really happy with this purchase. I know not everyone's gonna love this style. I could see myself going to Trader Joe's, Pilates, coffee, just like a cozy slide. I love it. And really no cons other than it's a light color. It's prone to getting dirty, expected with any of the lighter colored Uggs. Let me know in the comments if you love a particular style what are your favorite colors do you also feel nostalgic when purchasing uggs in 2023 all right you guys that wraps up this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video